Hello, in this exercise, we're going to use the dimensions command, set the dimension, and also the level for the dimensions so we can create it. So basically, the first thing we need to do is set our working unit into our required or units, which is either metric or English. So basically our side will be using uh, millimeters. We can use feet and inches. Click OK. Once that is set up, we can start drawing some shapes. Let's start with the rectangle. Let's say that the wall <coughs> area will be around 20 meter, 20 meters or 20,000 mm by 10, 10 meters, which is 10,000. So we will fit that shape into view. Now here we're going to set the dimensions that we require or set the dimensions that we're going to use. First, we need to set the style. And one thing we need to remember is we need to know what is the scale of our drawing. It means that we need to plan the paper size and a scale of the drawing for the drawing to fit into the paper size. This is, typically it's set as 1 is to 100 or 1 is to 200, 1 is to 50. For this exercise, we're going to use 1 is to 100. So now we need to set the dimension. Click the dimensions element. Here, I already set up a 2.5 mm uh, dimension style. Click the browser so we can create a new one. Click the new create style. Now we're going to call this dim 3 mm. So it means that the height of the text is 3 mm. First, the geometry we are maintain as per then set up the units and also here also the units it has to be set up in millimeters text we need to set the height to 3 this one the width will maintain at 2.5 the rest will maintain color will set it at red color for the text yellow extension line is red and the terminators is yellow then we'll save it then we have to set it here using the 3 mm dim dimension close the dialog box and now once we're set we need to set the annotation scale we have to go use the setting drawing scale here on the floating toolbar you see that the annotation scale Basically, it will always be full size, 1 is to 1. But for this exercise, we're going to set it as 1 is to 100. I'll show you what I mean when we use full scale, 1 is to 1. Let's use the dimension, place 1. You see, now the dimension is not visible because it says set as 3 mm. Comparing in comparison with the 20 meters is negligible and visually can could not be seen. So now once we set this annotation to 1 is to 100, this dimension will automatically change. The text will be bigger, the line will be bigger, and also the length of the extension line. So we need to erase this. Fit view. We'll draw another dimension, click one side, then click the other side. Now we'll also set another dimension on the left side. This part you can, text orientation you can set it by basically going to this style, style of DIM 3, 3mm. Let's set the text to be 
align or align with the dimensionless line click save yes to all exit as you can see the orientation of the text for the dimension has changed you can also set if you want some decimals point something or comma into your uh, dimensions here we need to go back to trim trim and dimension set the units here you can set the for accuracy you can have two decimal points if you want to use a comma for decimal just click check check this box click save yes to all click ok then later if you have some decimal points here we can place it here the dimensions to update these dimensions this is how to use the dimensions command and how to set up the dimensions text and extension line including the annotation scale for the text and dimension to text and dimensions to properly fit into the drawing area thank you